Let's take a look at some different cellular membranes and see how much protein, how much lipid, and how much carbohydrate they contain. Well, here's a plasma membrane. It'll differ from one kind of cell to another, but generally about 50% of the membrane is protein. Lipid, in the form of phospholipids, ranges again from uh, low 40s to about 50%. And a small portion is carbohydrate. It's actually sugar, oligosaccharides, a glycoside-linked short sugar chains. Let's take a look at the mitochondrial membrane. There are no sugars, for one thing. You will find that a characteristic of the plasma membrane or cell membrane of cells is that they are sugar-coated. No other membranes in the cell, with the exception of the endomembrane system membranes, has sugars. And endomembrane system membranes, this would be the RER, right, rough endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi vesicles, and so on, they can be sugar-coated on the inside, but that's because those membranes actually end up as plasma membrane when secretion vesicles exocytose and fuse their membranes with plasma membrane. So you will see that the other kinds of membranes I'm going to show you don't really have sugar. So the mitochondrial membrane has no carbohydrate. It's made up principally of protein and lipid. And look, 76% of this mitochondrial membrane is protein. It is rich in the proteins of the electron transport complexes. It concentrates those proteins there to enable efficient respiration. Only 24% of this membrane is lipid. The chloroplast uh, also has an electron transport system that's part of the photosynthetic apparatus. It is on the thylakoid membrane, so the thylakoid membranes of chloroplasts might be expected to be similarly rich in proteins and poor in lipids, and indeed that is the case. Here's a membrane you may have heard of. This is myelin membrane. It is found in or around nerve cells. Look at this. It's only 18% protein and 79% lipid. Now lipids, being unable to interact with water, are very good insulators, that is electrical insulators. And you may recall that neurons, nerve cells, are in the business of conducting neural impulses, which are essentially electrical impulses. Many nerves are surrounded by lipid-rich myelin membrane, which insulates the nerves, especially the long process called the axon, against dissipation of the nerve impulse. Again, the nerve impulse being an electrical charge.